surrounded by the nature and the sounds around you. Uh, you begin to look for little things that might give you a clue to a painting. Uh, something may happen in a split second, an egret lightning on a log or uh, something, some movement in the water and you're all interested in that particular uh, spot over there and I just glaze to see if I can see what, what, what might be moving out there. It, it, it's, I just like to be in the environment. I just like to be there where everything is happening. Not everything that I see becomes a painting. It's just certain things that uh, move me at a certain time that I have to, I have to record them eventually. Elton Luvier is an artist in the American realist tradition. His paintings affectionately explain themselves by their splendid simplicity and the emotional response invoked. Through a masterful combination of depth and light, familiar vistas are translated into vibrant, living memories of home and place, of forest and swamp. Louisiana can't be described. So intriguing and unique are its customs and its people from rich delta farmlands to timbered hills to deep swamps and bayous that the stories and descriptions are endless. As far as my realism uh, and the way I paint, uh, it has always been that way. That was, that was never a desire to do anything else. You got to understand, I grew up in an environment surrounded by my parents that were farmers, uh, grew things, they, whatever they planted in the ground, it grew up. And uh, whenever we did anything, it was real. It wasn't uh, superficial. It was there. I, I could not relate with anything else but what I could actually see. And I consequently drew and painted everything that was realistic. Elton's work, like many other artists, is going to be here when everyone else and all of us are gone. So to me, every one of his paintings is a legacy. Um, it will remain here. It, he has recorded a lot of Louisiana that's disappearing. Uh, he's not the only one. There are other people doing that. But there's no way that you could say that what he does will disappear. It will be here for many hundreds of years. And what he's recording, uh, particularly, uh, some of the most appealing paintings that he has are pure Louisiana. So that's, that's, to me, very beneficial to the people of Louisiana, whether they know it now or not. The relationship between Pat and I has uh, has always been great. We uh, we work as a team. Uh, we'll get up in the morning, have a coffee, we'll read the paper, and that's when we have our little uh, meeting to sort of get all the things that we're going to do that particular day. By the bank and the post office, write a news release. She takes care of all the little details. She. Uh, do all the uh, phone calling, the answering the mail, the, all the little bitty things that an artist has to have. It, plus the fact that everybody she sees, every, every chance she gets, she's promoting, she's uh, describing how my work has changed, how it's progressed over the years. I don't know how any artist could really do it by himself. It's, it's, the, kind of, uh, it's the kind of career that has so many ups and downs that you almost need someone there to take care of the details. Uh, in order to paint, he needs someone to do the rest. And I was glad to do that. That was fine with me. I was interested in everything he did. And uh, so his goals were my goals. I think uh Growing up on a farm like I did uh, had a lot to do with the way I think, the way I, I work, the way I do things. Uh, I was never lazy, and you couldn't be lazy on a farm. You had to, you had to do the jobs you, you were given.
the one thing I can remember well that we always got the Saturday Evening Post and I always admired the, the covers because back then the covers were always done by an artist and the one that really struck me the most was Norman Rockwell. How could the guy do such beautiful work? How could, how could he have so much talent and how could I get that good? You know, and it, it motivated me. It says, I've got to be that good someday. I learned early in life that if you really have a goal and you want to achieve it, I don't think any, anybody or anything can keep you from achieving that goal. Louisiana is losing a lot of its history. It's losing a lot of a lot of the old homes, a lot of the old service stations, a lot of the old barns because people are putting up prefab, building brick homes, and destroying the old stuff. About five years ago, I came up with the idea that uh, we should be doing a book, 28 new paintings, all of them reflecting uh, Louisiana. Calhoun House. I think the Calhoun House is uh, all started because I was fascinated with textures. I just had to do it. When you, you see it, it's there. It, you, the picture's all there. But it's the old wallpaper, uh, the fireplace, the bricks. When you look at that painting, you see all the textures and the good warm brown colors in there. It just warms you up for some reason. I had to do that painting. Well, the Hen House at Magnolia Plantation was a pleasure because we went there looking for uh, a colonial home. But we happened to walk in the backyard and I saw the chickens and geese and everything in the backyard and I, it's, it began to bring back home. And it gave me a good warm feeling. And uh, when I got to that particular chicken coop and that, that rooster was there and he turned around and looked at me and I knew then and there I had to do it. There was just no way. I, this had to be in the book. This was part of Louisiana, it had to be there. It was part of me, really. I think a person should paint what's inside, what moves them, uh, how they were brought up, I guess, has a lot to do with it. Um, paint what you, you feel inside. I think Elton's work is different because he's, um, because of the mood he attaches to his paintings. But he's so meticulous and he's so, um, so dedicated to portraying Louisiana as he knew it from the time he was a child. When you grow up in, especially in southern Louisiana, when you grow up here, you have a strong attachment for the moods of things. In the case of the Hesmer Church, uh, he had a purpose in mind. He wanted to do a church. Religion is a big part of Louisiana, and uh, uh, particularly um, the way he grew up. Most of the people, when you grow up, are, especially in rural areas, have little country churches. And that's so much a part of Louisiana, the country churches. Bowring Bridge is uh, very interesting. It had everything that I thought was Louisiana about it. I just don't know. It had the cypress, the moss, the, everything about it was old. And uh, again, I figured that someday that bridge would be gone too. And that was one of the longest old wooden bridges, I guess, left in Louisiana. So I had to do it. There's no doubt about it. Joe the Barber. 
Joe's place is just a place where everybody gathers. They get their hair cut, but they also want to know what the latest news is, what's happening, and uh, if anything happens around Sheraton or Franklin or that area, you will find out about it at Joe's. We became interested in Elton's paintings, um, uh, really interested about 10 years ago. His birds are so detailed. I've, I've not seen any work uh, by anyone that, that matches the detail that he puts into, into wild birds. Uh, his sceneries are good, uh, but the birds are just such detail, just so true to life, uh, just almost perfect. Uh, painting, it, when I when I decide it's finished, is very very difficult. Uh, I've overworked some to where when I got through with it, I was sorry I did it that way. Just leave it to where it's it's you think it's about as good as you'd want it to be, and uh, keep it loose enough, uh, not so tight, not so where it uh, you, you're killing your purpose, which is to to do a painting, not really to do every little dot, every little speck. And if you can stop in time before you, you really get to that point where it's overdone, I think it's, it's a great thing. I became interested in uh, Elton's work, uh, I guess about uh, 14 years ago. Elton's work, uh, while being special to me, it's uh, hard for me to say. But what I like about it is uh, a lot of artists uh, go all over the uh, country, and maybe he does too, but he does go all over uh, Louisiana. And uh, his paintings uh, reflect Louisiana to us. Those are the very special moments that I like uh, when I'm out there uh, near the subject matter that I like to paint where I can absorb a lot of it and just listen to all the sounds of nature, looking out of all the possibilities of a painting. Oh, this is nice. Oh, it's beautiful out here. The water's high. Yeah, look at those turtles out there on the water. Where? Up ahead. Oh, yeah. We want to get right to them. Yeah, let's get closer. This is so pretty. So pretty, so peaceful out here. I think the most important part of recording uh, the part of the state of Louisiana is is that I, I, I'm leaving it, uh, I think, uh, leaving images there that people can relate with from years and years to come. I think the paintings that I'm doing now will last for, for a long time. And just to think that I'm able to record something, that uh, I was given enough talent to be able to put everything down on a, on a canvas, on a panel, and then include it in a book uh, for future generations. I certainly think that uh, that's going to be a world of enjoyment for me and for generations to come. I'm painting right now what I really want to paint hopefully the, for the rest of my life. I, I'm more at home. I'm enjoying tremendously what I'm doing now. I wanted to do one of the best pieces of work I can ever do, and then once I complete it, I'm ready for the next one, and hopefully it'll, it'll work out for us. We're gonna make it here regardless. We're happy. Uh, we're gonna be happy in Louisiana. I could be in New York today. I could be in California tomorrow. I'm where I really want to be here. Whether I'll ever be a, a great person or a great artist is secondary. I'm just going to be Elton Louie tomorrow or the day after. 
And I think Pat and I both agreed on that a number of years ago. We like where we are. We're not going to change. We're not going to move. We're here forever. <laughs>